What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tabletop with Linty video. I'm Linty over here on this side and I'm here with Dylan. Dylan, how's it going? It's going good. Over here I'm going to be playing Hisui and Zorark. And I'm going to be playing Giratina V. So we're diving in a little bit to that new Lost Origin set that's going to be coming out. Uh, hopefully you went to some pre-release this past weekend and got some great pools. Um, and with the new set coming out, it's a good time to order some cards. So if you head over to Atlas Collectibles, you can save yourself 12% on some of the new cards that are coming out. Just use code TSS12. So we already did the coin flip and set up off camera. So we'll go ahead and begin. Dylan is going first. And right. good luck. Good luck. A draw for turn. All right. Good start here. I'm going to go ahead and just attach the DTE to the Zorark. And then it's Quick Ball. And Quick Ball away. I wouldn't know what you're playing just off the Bidoof, so. Sadly, I think getting rid of the new boss's orders. She. Yeah, we're going to just, you know, flex that a little bit. Right there. Okay. Add search, basic, Deancey, bat, not really worth it though, um, I'll mute myself out of this part, keep like going through your motions, but like when you say like first word it's like not picking it up because you're like saying it too softly hmm I'm gonna bench the mana fee as well and shuffle or yeah shuffle my deck and pass to you okay I will draw for turn here great right, another air balloon Okay, so we'll go ahead and just use this battle VIP pass. Just taking a little look here. I think I'll just go ahead and grab maybe a Giratina and I kinda wanna grab a Comfe. Confet. Hey, hey. Right. Pretty good start. Doing a little shuffle duffle here. Catch an air balloon to Badoof. I'll retreat into my little confet. So we get a look at the top two. Flower picking, top two cards of the deck. Ooh, we get to keep one and put one into the law zone. Just a heads up, the translation is a little different. I don't remember what it was, but it was flower something. Put this in the law zone. <laughs> Not a stadium. Law zone. And I'll keep this one. I guess I don't have to show you, do I? Uh, no. Go ahead and use Culver's experiment. So we'll look at the top five. Popping off. Put three in hand, two in the law zone. Um, it's actually kind of tricky. I think I'll put these three in hand, these two in the lost zone. Yep. I'll attach here for turn. I think I'll do Ultra Ball Away, Mirage Gate, and a boss. Yeah, I will grab. Just in case you can pop off and like do some serious damage, I think I'm gonna grab just another Giratina down here. 
Yeah, unlikely. And then I will pass to you. Okay, just drop a turn. Ooh. Well, actually, I think what I'll do is I'll Ultra Ball away Gengar and Zorark. Grab another star. Cards in hand. Four. Getting Gengar from the discard pile, putting Gengar on the bench here, using the ability. And then I still have to shuffle from the Ultra Ball. Uh, I gotta put three damage counters on the Gengar. And then I'm going to play Marnie. Okay. Shuffle my hand. Yep. Gosh, it's pretty bad actually. Okay. Wow, this feels really bad. I'm gonna actually attach this to the Gengar for turn. Play Ultra Ball. I guess. I'm gonna grab... Crobat, I think? Actually, no, I'm gonna grab Gengar. Another Gengar. It kind of feels bad. I don't think I should have benched Manaphy. Why not grab Crobat? Uh, because I'm gonna use Phantom Star here. Ah. Uh. Trying to maximize the cards, I see. I mean, Phantom Star would. And because I benched the Manaphy, I do have a limited bench space. So I'm going to use my V-Star ability, which is discard your hand. Uh, one, during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw up to seven cards. Okay. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay. One more. Kind of uh, unfortunate, though. I'm going to use this Gengar's ability here. Do the same thing. Damage counters. And then I'm going to use damage pump. <clears throat> and remove from this Gengar. Over here. Got the damage counters over here. Okay. And then. Wow, unfortunate. I wanted to get another Zoroark out, but it's okay. What I'll do is I'll just use Baneful Curse for the knockout. Okay. I'll go ahead and draw for turn. Yikes, I have a bunch of cards that I just really don't need right now. I'm going to have to attach to Giratina. Treat. Okay. And then I'm just gonna have to I first looking at a Japanese card here. Yeah. Abyss Seeker. So I get a look at I believe the top four. Four of my cards, but two of them in my hand, other two in the lost zone. Dang that Marnie kinda got you. It did. Okay, I'm gonna draw for turn. My trekking shoes. Do need this. Um, okay, well, I 
I, I really need to get another Zorark out. I'll use damage pump again. And I'll just move 10 to the Zorark in the active. Then I'm gonna play Professor's Research. Wow. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'll play Trekking Shoes. That's what I wanted. Didn't really want to bench that without putting damage counters on it, but here we go. And then I'll use Baneful Curse for the knockout. Okay. Draw for turn. There. I will put down training court. I guess if I can squeeze it there. Yep. Down training court. We will Ulrus experiment. Yep. Put three in my hand, so I want that. That. I, I mean. Those in the... Okay. I will... Patch for turn here. Yep. Will Mirage Gate. Figured that was coming. So they do have to be two different types. Heart seems so strong. Yeah, can only be used once you get seven cards in the lost zone. Yeah, I'm just a little worried though, because you're you can one shot me kind of easily. Uh, well, I've <laughs> I've, I've had to make some uh, sacrifices here. Three damage pumps are already in my discard, and this Zorak doesn't have damage on it, so I can't really one shot Giratina. Treat, yeah, that Marnie did get me kind of good. And we will first attack, which I don't know the name to currently. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even actually, sure. It's actually, before I curse. before I even do that, I'm gonna training court that energy. Okay. And then we'll, but I know I do have to move two of my energies to the lost zone. Yeah, sounds good. So we'll go ahead and do that for knockout. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of questionable here. Uh, actually, promote the Diancy here. Did I draw? Seven, eight, no. I haven't seen a single stadium. Crazy. Do that. Text my Zorark. Attach there. I will use Quick Ball. Okay, last damage pump is in the deck. I'm kind of in a weird spot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> With my hand. These are very rough drafts. I guess I'll grab the Crobat. Oh, I gotta show you. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Attach this choice belt. And then I'm just gonna pass to you. 
Okay, I'll draw for turn. Oh, thank. Nice. Thank goodness for that, except my hand's kind of clogged. Put down that bidoof. Yep. I'll just go ahead and attach for turn here. Ugh, this is, I'm just, I have to do this to burn cards. I'm gonna switch. Yeah. The beaver roll there. Scoop up the doof. Put it back <laughs> down. All right. Is I want to hold on to this just in case, and I kind of want to hold on to this just in case, but I think I'm just going to have to do it again. I'll adjust your sizes for two. Set, I got rid of that uh, scoop up net there. Yeah. Will. Hmm. Her pile. I'm gonna see how many bosses you've used. <laughs> uh, I've used zero. Two. <laughs> three. I think that's all your bosses. Yeah, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. I forgot to check when I quick balled. In that case, I'm gonna retreat to Comfy. We'll do the ability. Okay. Hmm. I think I have a scoop up net in here too. Go ahead and put down comfy. Yes. I think and I'm just gonna pass. Alright. I don't wanna do damage to your Diancy and then possibly get one shot in return until well, I'm able to Yeah, set my up. problem is like Well I suppose I could do this, but like I think I just lose here, because uh, like I like I was unfortunate that I had to get rid of all those damage pumps and the bosses. Mm. Guess I'll use energy lotto. I'm just gonna grab this. Put it in your hand. Actually, I'm not. You may reveal an energy card. Okay. I'm going to energy lotto again. I'm just gonna shuffle. Just burning cards as well. Okay. And I guess I should have done this first. I'm gonna Evo incense. Okay. I have a plan here. I see you looking at that Gengar with the energy on it. I, uh, <laughs> I am. <clears throat> Crobat, I'm a dark asset for four. Okay. How many Zoroarks have I discarded? One. Oh. I guess it's fine, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna retreat, <clears throat> excuse me, into the Gengar. That's kinda what I have to do here. Kinda scary, uh, but then I will knock out. Okay. Draw for turn. Okay. Draw 
right. I will attach here. I'll attach that energy to your Tina. Put the balloon on Comfe. Yep. Uh, To annoyingly mirage gate. Am I allowed to fail it? I think so. It says up to two, so maybe I really don't know. That's a rough translation. Even though the actual card's out now, I guess we could look it up. But I'll just put one there. Okay. up to it means you have to at least one I think I guess it's, it's private knowledge whether or not I have energies in my deck that's also true actually good point I mean I, it could be failed yeah I'll draw three okay okay let me switch into Mm -hmm. Flower picking. Goodness. It's kind of an awkward game here. I know. Scared to Colrus, but I think I'm going to. I don't think you need to, but yeah, so many cards in the lost zone now. Nice. Now we're talking. Rush gate. Okay. Ooh. Got a little deck. Only got a few cards left there. Boss doll coming in hot. Just kidding. <laughs> bosses are <laughs> a little long gone. I'll retreat. Yep. And I will knock out. Okay. Okay. I I I have a plan here, but it's kind of tough without bosses or bosses orders. Hmm. This is tough. But, like I said, I have a plan. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I know, it's just tough. Like, damage pump would be really nice here. I'll use Ultra Ball. And I will... So other Ultra Ball. I don't even think I have another Pokemon in my deck here. I do. Oh. Interesting. Kind of changes things. I'm gonna fail it. I'll bench this Zorark. Attach that. When I use Professor's Research, I need to finish shuffling before I finish here. And then uh, draw seven. Five, six, seven. Okay. I'm gonna training court. Tap 
attach the Gengar, treat, and then put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each of their bench, so 100 damage. Two, four, six, eight. Or 80, sorry. Who do we appreciate? Gengar, Gengar. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Go ahead and draw. That's there. Little tool jammy. Uh-oh. I'm going to retreat. Yep. Gonna retreat. Give me that. Okay. And I will Star Requiem. Just knocks out. Knock out. Busted. Okay. I think that's checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did what I could. You did, you did. Oh, okay. Finally found my stadiums. Gabe Jabog. Not that it even matters. See, I forgot the training court before I attacked. I know you did. Oh, we're gonna play this out. Gengar. The uh yeah, this was this was a bad call. Cause I could actually knock out if you didn't have if I didn't have that on there. I think. How so? So attach. Or no, does three hundred minus does two eighty. Oh wait. Oh gosh, yeah, I threw it. Well how so I have another V star in in deck here. So how would you get Diane C out of the active? By retreating it. Thanks. So Tool Jammer does win it for you. Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> uh, I probably would have not promoted that then. But I thought I already lost. But yeah, good game. I, I can't do anything. Yeah, good game. That was kind of an awkward start for both of us. But, you know. Yeah, it was. Sometimes it just happens. I think knowing that... Most likely all of your boss were down. It was definitely a good thing for me. Yeah, that was unfortunate for me, but still had a chance to win there at the end. Uh, what I would have done is evolve Hisui and Zorark, and oh, I didn't have another DTE, so that didn't matter anyway. But I think that not evolving the Zorark while the Dancy was in the active was obviously oh, no, the correct DTE. move. Yeah, yeah. So I would hit for exactly 280, because I had one damage pump left. And I would have brought that other Gengar back, moved the damage counters to the Crobat and the other Zoroark, or whatever else was benched. Yeah. Well, hopefully, everyone, let us know in the comments what you're most excited for for Lost Origin. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12% off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS12. If you're looking for PTCGO codes, they have them there as well at atlaspokemart.com. And the best part is, the TSS12 code works there as well. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. This video is sponsored by pokaxword.com, the best place to get your fill of Pokemon-inspired puzzles. New puzzles are posted every Sunday, and it's a great way to disconnect and have some fun. Not only that, but they also host monthly giveaways on their channel. I personally complete these puzzles every week and can honestly say that they're pretty challenging. They've recently added a puzzle with flavor text only, which is a ton of fun. Be sure to follow PokaXWord on Twitter to get notified when new puzzles are posted and when their giveaways are live.